Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at uh, another way that you can actually enter in your inventory purchases. So in a previous video we've had a look at the parts, how you enter those in in the detailed view from scratch. Uh, but there's another way that you can do this through the vendors screen. So you can actually import uh, parts that you've purchased or you can just add a quick new purchase quite quickly. So if we go to the vendors screen and we'll just jump into this vendor we've got here and you just need to go to the purchases tab across the top here. Click in here. Okay, now there's two ways that you can do that in here. So if you've already purchased and entered a, a, whole, a whole bunch of stock and items, then you can just go to add a new purchase just at the top here. Click on that. Okay, and that's going to bring up any parts that you've already entered that you've currently added into your inventory. So you can have a quick look through, and let's just say that you've um, just made a new purchase of some gold split rings. So you can click on there, uh, it'll add in today's date, puts in the split rings, you put in uh, the price, whatever it was that you paid for them, um, per bag, how many packs, how many is in the pack, and if there was a shipping cost. Okay, and then that's actually just added that straight to your purchases for the split rings. So if we were to jump into that part, we can click into the detail view. Okay, and we can see for our split rings, it's just added in a new line item. So from the Crafty Store, it's just added in uh, a new line item for actual purchases for that and added those into the inventory. Okay, if we just click back. Okay, and back into here. And the other way that you can do this, so you can do uh, an import. So there's a mass import feature. So if you want to enter in your purchases into a spreadsheet, or if you actually have a spreadsheet of information, then you can actually enter into a spreadsheet and just import that. So this is my sample sheet. I'll just bring this over. Okay, and we can see in here, we've just entered in. So we've got the basic info. So our, our date of purchase, uh, part manufacturer number, uh, category if you're going to put one in, part name, um, length, width, depth, um, all the basic information that you put in through there. And you can get a copy of this sheet. I'll just take this back out of the way. If you actually go into the support manual and advanced features and information and then adding part purchases in vendor so click into there and this again this explains how to do it in the manual and if you go into the detailed view and then just scroll down here it explains the uh, two different options so the adding new purchase button I've just shown and the import and there's a link here so you can click on that and that will actually download a copy of that CSV file for you so you can use that as a blank template and if you just scroll down it explains each of the headings and the different fields here so it just explains what you need to enter if you just scroll through there it explains all the examples and there are some samples in the blank sheet for you as well that you can just overwrite okay so we'll just close that and we'll just do a sample import here. So to once you've filled in your sheet, just click on the import button. Select your sheet. So this is my sample sheet here. Okay, it's going to ask you some questions. So whether the purchase price includes tax, tax rate you want to use, or to use the tax rates that are actually in the CSV file. So I'm just going to use that as blanks at the moment. Use the data in the CSV file. Okay, and then what it will do, it will bring up the information that it finds in the sheet. So just uh, have these matching fields to our sheet. So if we just drag the sheet back across here again a second, if we put this below. Okay, we'll see that these fields, so we've got the date, the part manufacturer, um, category, part name, etc., etc. So it just fills in the same fields in there. And then what this will actually do and um, the important part to look at here is that what Craftmaker Pro will be searching for is to see whether these are new parts or whether you already have existing parts in your inventory that it will add the purchases to. So it's going to look at the, um, the part manufacturer field and see whether or not it can find a matching part that it needs to add the purchase to. And if there is no matching part, then it will create a new purchase and a new um, section in your inventory for it. So if you just have a look through here, check whether or not there's any matching stuff, and you can do that if you scroll across here. 
it will tell you here and say matching parts, part 21, part 22, part 23, and so forth. So just check, make sure that that's correct before you do the import. And if you find anything that's wrong, you can either just hit the cancel button, take that back out, or you can unselect the things that you've done. Okay, and then from there, we'll simply select import. Okay, we'll just give that message again. So it's going to add existing, add purchase to existing parts. I'm just going to say yes to that. So import. It'll do its thing, and there we can see. So these are our new purchases. So it's just added those in here. So we can see them here in the line items for our vendor. And if we want, we can click through from the part, the, the name here, and it'll take us straight to the details of the part. And we can see the new purchases as they get added in here as well. So that's a couple of simple ways. It saves a lot of time on adding new purchases by going through one by one. If you've bought a whole load of infantry from a particular vendor, just go into that vendor and go into your uh, purchase section for, for them and then you can just add them in either one by one or do a mass import.